Marion, with ardent glance, keeps Count de Walden occupied. Through the castle all the while, his henchmen are defied. No, it's you. Well, there's a good strong lad for you. I bet you've got some good muscles. Hmm, not bad. How would you like to join us, lad? Become one of the Count of Walden's soldiers. Why, well, don't you? will get plenty to eat, plenty to drink, and a wench in every village. A what? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. It's a good life, a soldier's life. A devil's life. That's what it is. Two sons I lost at the crusade. Well, I'll take the lad to foreign parts. The Count has other plans. You'll not take him at all. He's too young. Too young, is he? Too old, I'd say, to be tied to an old woman's skirts. Come on, lad. Oh, dear, you'll not take my grandson. Oh, please don't take him, I beg you. He's all I have. Oh, no. Come on, get moving. Now that love tarry and the dessert. Excellent, mademoiselle. Soon you will be as proficient as a Frenchman. Enough for today. Lady what is it, honey? My lady, my Henry, my poor little Henry. They've taken him for a soldier. And him only 14 last Michaelmas. No, no, Nanny, don't cry. Try and tell me what happened. <laughs> Who took him away? Soldiers, my lady. Strangers they were. I never laid eyes on them before. Did they say where they were taking him? No, but they, they mentioned some name. I... Oh, dear, my poor head. Try and remember what the name was, Nanny. Some, some count does something. Count? Was it Count de Walden? Yes, Count de Walden, that was it, Count de Walden. The Count had no right to send his soldiers to our castle. Oh, if only the master were back from the Holy Land. He'd soon deal with this Count. Well, father's not here, so I shall have to deal with him. Come, Nanny, <laughs> don't cry. Marianne Fitzwalter, my lord. Lady Marianne, what a pleasant surprise. And a surprising pleasure. Count de Walden, I didn't come to pay you a social call. I came to ask you... My dear lady, please be seated. Anything you wish to ask me, I shall be only too happy to answer. I came to speak to you about a serious matter. Indeed. So serious that it cannot be discussed in a more civilized manner. I came to ask you by what right you had to abduct a young man from our domain and press him into your service. My dear lady, can it be that my men have had the impertinence to trespass? I assure you they'll be most severely punished. Now, my dear, please be seated. I'm sure that a few minutes of friendly discussion will easily settle this triviality. Fate of a young boy of 14 is no triviality. I suggest that you have him brought here immediately and that you lend him a horse so that he can return with me. Anger suits you, Lady Marion. Very enviable young Henry is to have merited such interest. Count Walden. 
Are there many young Henrys of such great interest to you in this part of the countryside? <coughs> Lady Marion, a word, I beg you. I apologize. Perhaps we can make what the English call a bargain. Count de Walden, this is no bargaining matter. You are not in a position to... That is just what I am, Lady Marion. I am in a bargaining position. You want young Henry. I have young Henry. And you shall have young Henry if... If? If you will give me the pleasure of your company at dinner on any evening of your choice. I see. Like an exchange of prisoners. My dear Lady Marion, I employ you, not prisoners. I hope you will never look upon this castle as a prison. Whatever may happen when you give me the pleasure of your company at dinner and grace my table. So, in exchange for my company at supper, the Lord de Walden pledges young Henry's freedom. A good enough exchange if he keeps his word. Young Henry isn't the only one. De Walden's men are impressing all and sundry in my parish. There's Joss Hunter and Mick Balder, Charlie Fox and James... Not for soldiers. Charlie Fox is lame. Mick won't see seventy again. I'm sure he couldn't lift a pike staff. Where's he keeping all these wretched men? Locked up somewhere in his castle, I'll wager, until he's ready to use them. I saw the keys brought back. They're kept in the anteroom off the Count's chamber. That might be useful to know. But soldiers need arms, and armor doesn't grow on trees. I wonder. There's only one place where armor's made around these parts, and that's Master Farrell's workshop in Watling. Yes. When is this sumptuous feast with the Count to take place? I haven't accepted yet. But he said I might choose the evening. Good. Give us three days to find a way into the castle. And while you're keeping the Count busy, we'll be busy elsewhere. Meanwhile, little John and I will visit this armorer and see what we can find out about De Walden and his plans. did you get in here and what do you want? As you would expect, through the door. And what I want is equally what you would expect, a sword. A sword? A sword, you say? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let me see. Sword. Don't worry, good friend armorer. I can pay for it. No doubt you could, no doubt. But I don't know that I can serve you. I'll see. No. No. Try this one. No use, my friend. Uh, we do know about these things. Mm, I see you do. But it isn't as you think. What about one of those over there? They are an order. Everything here is spoken for. What, all those swords? All of them. But all that armor? All the armor, all the bows, all the spears, all the arrows. Everything is an order. They've all been counted and listed and checked. And the only way to delivery. If you come here tomorrow, you might have found the whole workshop empty. Who could possibly want all that? We're not at war. The Count of Walden. All this is for him and as much more as I can fashion. You're a lucky man indeed to have a market for your wares before you've even made them. A veritable blessing this Count must be. I suppose he's taking a force to the Holy Land? No, he isn't. He's not? Well, what on earth could he want with all that? What's that to you? The Count's business is none of yours? Oh, I'm not interested in the doings of the High and Mighty, except when they're of use to me. I've just come back from the Holy Land. I'm a soldier looking for employment, you might say. I thought perhaps this Count of yours might... Well, he might have that. But I, too, am looking for helpers. You seem to know something of weapons, I thought. Well, my friend here. 
Yes, I was work. Well, I have all this stuff to send to the castle, several cartloads. And you look just the man to help me. Out there are the wagons to be loaded. Ned? Yes? Hurry up. Here's a new man to help you. Come on, then. <laughs> Entertaining a lady, not a bishop. <laughs> oh, go, 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 go. I will do it myself. Well, Jean Pierre? Oh, Monseigneur. Tout de près. How often must I tell you we are in England now? You must learn to use their language. Oui, Seigneur. And look at this. <laughs> really, Jean Pierre, this won't do at all. As I said before, we are in England. My guest is a young lady of good family. <coughs> Which reminds me. Hmm. Enter. Lady Marion Fitzwalter, my lord. Ah, I am enchanted, Lady Marion. <coughs> May I introduce our chaplain, Father Tuck? A learned man with whom you'll have much in common. I am honored by your visit, Father. I only wish I'd known you were coming. Jean-Pierre, another place for Father. Oh, uh, no, 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 my lord. I wouldn't dream of intruding. Surely you would take a glass of wine. Well, um... Jean-Pierre. Uh, it's many a long year since I was in this castle. How it has all changed. You see, I knew the former owner very well, before he lost it. Lost what? This castle. But the furniture, these objects of beauty, the castle itself, you must have rebuilt it completely, my lord. I did indeed. Not only for the sake of beauty, father. I know nothing about such matters, but to me it looks very well fortified. It is more than that. It is impregnable. This castle is the safest place in England. Our cooking is far superior. There is much the French can teach us. And I would enjoy teaching you. You think I'd be quick to learn? I'm sure you would be. Not only in the art of gastronomy, music and painting. But in the most subtle art of them all. <coughs> the art of chess. A most subtle game. Indeed. I will teach you. Count. To Walden, I don't wish to seem ungracious, but I came here tonight with a purpose. We made what you called a bargain. Oh, yes, of course. The boy. 
shouldn't we discuss this between ourselves? Fra Tuck? Yes, my dear? Perhaps you'd like to look through the castle, if the Count will permit. Indeed. I'll get my Chamberlain to show you through. Oh, no, 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 my lord. As I said, I've been here before many times. I can find my way. As you wish. If there's anything you want, my servants are at your disposal. Oh, thank you, my lord. Begin our chess lesson. You have the right? So your men move first. Yes. My men move first. Nothing but an owl. Funny. I could have sworn. What worries you, Count of Alden? I thought you said your castle is impregnable. Which is more than I can say for your castle here. Which seems to be in very great danger indeed. Friar Tuck. <laughs> Thank heavens I saw it was you. Who are you? It's me. Cedric. Oh, oh, oh. Robin, is all going well? So far, ten of the castle guard bagged, but we still have the prisoners to free. These may help. Powers of persuasion. <laughs> the credit's due to Marion. She's got the Count so much under her spell that he's grown careless. Let's hope the spell lasts ten minutes longer. <laughs> Your move. Friends come to set you free. What? Who are you? We're friends. I've seen you before, sir. With the Lady Marion. You're, you're Robin Hood. That's right. You must be young Henry. Yes. All right, well, let's get these off you, lad. Now, as soon as we freed the others, Take them up to the courtyard. And mind you go quietly. Lady Marion, oh, you are a surprisingly apt pupil. Your move, my lord. You better watch your pawns. <laughs> now, you, my lads, can have a taste of your own dungeon. Checkmate. Amazing. And you told me that you had hardly played before. I told you. I never did count to Walden. You never asked me. Did I not? You did not. You thought I'd never even seen a chessboard. Well, I admit my mistake. But after all, this is only a game. I don't make mistakes of this nature in more serious matters. No, I don't expect you do, when it comes to warfare. 
But tell me one thing, Count de Walden, that has puzzled me for some time. How do you expect to make soldiers out of little boys like Henry? And of the old and sick? Hmm. Well, why shouldn't I tell you? Even if you betrayed me, nothing can stop it now. But you will not betray me. Betray you? Do you know the strength of the garrison in this shire? About 80 men at arms. And do you know how many men King Richard has in all in this part of the land? Under 500. What do you think would be the impact of an army of 3,000 men suddenly appearing right here? But there aren't a thousand able-bodied men in all the shires put together. Exactly. But if you saw 3,000 men in armor bearing down on you, would you know what kind of men there were inside that armor? They would not need to shoot a single arrow. The mere sight of such a lesion would mean victory. And I, my dear, I have 3,000 suits of armor and 3,000 Henrys to fill them. That's the window, the one with the light. Let me stand with your back. One day, a coronet might grace this pretty head. door is locked. I apologize, Lady Marion. <laughs> this time it is my checkmate. Let me go! Soon you will be begging me. Not to let you go. Good evening, my lord. I wonder who will be begging who. Imagine I'm without protection in my own castle. No, my lord. I know you have stalwart loyal soldiers in large numbers. Indeed I have. Guard! Swan! Guard! 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 Swan! Guard! Don't stand like that, you fool! The enemy are in the castle! <laughs> Where's that man? <laughs> Thank you, my dear Count, for letting me look round the castle. It hasn't changed so much, after all. Its former owner was well known for keeping open house. <laughs> Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the glen. Robin Hood, Robin Hood. With his band of men, feared by the bad, loved by the good. 